Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Last week, Skylum Software updated Luminar Neo to version 1.0.2, or as they like to call it, update number two. In today's video, we're going to take a look at what's new and exciting in this, the latest version of Luminar Neo. Before I begin, let me mention something very quickly. Um, all of you probably know that Skylum Software is based in Kyiv, Ukraine. I'm pleased to say that last week I had the opportunity to talk to a couple different Skylum employees and every Skylum employee, all 120 of them, are safe and most of them are still working. Now, although they're based in Kyiv and most of their programmers are in Kyiv, they are an international co uh, company. They have offices in other parts of Europe and an office in North America, I believe, in San Diego, California. And I saw something online. It wasn't a question that was posed to me. It was a question in a forum. Uh, somebody was concerned about their personal data. Um, Skylum has said that all customer data is kept on Amazon Web Services. So it isn't kept on a computer that's in an office building inside a Kiev. It's kept on the Amazon Web Services. So hopefully that uh, just secures your data enough <laughs> so uh, there isn't any risk of you uh, losing any like credit card information or anything like that. Finally, I want to mention that there are a lot of websites that are soliciting donations for Ukraine that are unscrupulous. They're keeping the money. Um, in the description below this video, I have a link to a web page that lists all the legitimate charities that one could donate to to help Ukraine. So if you're interested in helping Ukraine, take a look in the description below this video and have a link to that web page. Now, let's talk about this update. I mentioned it's version 1.0.2, or as they like to call it, update 2. It does have some new things in it. Nothing, you know, earth shattering or groundbreaking, but... It is a, a incremental update to Luminar Neo, and it has things that we really do need. Um, first of all, let's just jump right into it. I'm in the catalog module, and you can see over here I edited this. Is pretty obvious. I edited this image on the left. You now could sync or copy your edits from one image to another image. So I have this one edited. I'm going to hold the command key on my Mac and click this image right next to it. It's a control key on a PC, so they're both. Um, active or selected. Then I could right click on either of them, go down to adjustments and go to sync adjustments. And you can see that there is a keyboard shortcut for a Mac at shift command S. Um, I'm thinking on a PC, it would be shift control S. Correct me if I'm wrong in the description below or in the comments below. Uh, but they have also one of the uh, parts of this update is they've added um, several new keyboard shortcuts not only new functionality. So the sync adjustment is new functionality. And then when I do that, it will copy the edits that I did to that first image over to the second image. You also could get to sync edits from the image menu at the top. So image adjustments, sync adjustments. And you could see you could copy and paste adjustments as well. And from the same menu item, you could revert to the original. That's a reset. So if you need to reset. So that is new in this um, version of Luminar Neo. Now, you don't have to do just one image. You could have selected a number of images in your catalog and it will sync the adjustments to the first image that was selected. So that is new. The other thing is they've added transform tools. Let's go to this image, go to the edit panel. Um, one thing I'll add real quick, another thing they've added is they've increased the frame rate when you drag a slider. So whenever you're dragging a slider now, it should be more responsive, hopefully. Uh, so look for that. And I mentioned they added these transform tools. They're at the bottom of the develop module. And whenever you're shooting with a wide angle lens and your horizontals aren't horizontal anymore, your verticals aren't vertical anymore, or you could come in and fix them. In this image here, you can see it looks like the buildings are falling backwards. So I go to the transform tool and I could take this vertical slider and move it to left and straighten up those buildings. You also could 
fix it horizontally as well. And the aspect ratio, so you could kind of scrunch things down or up and out if you need to. So that should be able to fix any um, problems you might have had when shooting with a wide angle lens. And I think this was shot with like around a 24 millimeter lens. So you could, you know, that's why the buildings were falling backwards and I had the lens tilted up a little bit because I wanted to capture the sky. So that is another new feature that I think is quite welcome. Now, one new feature, let's go to catalog again and let's go to this image and go to edit is they've added the ability um, for you or the capability to use a PNG file with transparency. And this of course is in layers. So we're gonna go over to layers. We're gonna click this little plus sign right here. And you can see that it has flares, light leak sparklers. Those come built in. But I want to add this PNG file that I have that is transparent, has no background. So I'm gonna click load image and I have it on my desktop, it's a seagull image, and you can see it's seagull.png is what I called it, and we'll click open. And you'll see it appears right here. Now I could take this image and put it on, on this image, and you can see the seagull's right there. But if we go over to layer properties, you could see that you know it's, it's, the opacity is at 50. So if I bring it up, there it's darker now. Now you can see, it works pretty well. When you move it over there, it comes with these transform handles. So I could come in and resize it so it better fits what I want to do here. Like that. Have them flying into the scene, I think maybe over there. So like that, and that's it. So it's it's nice, you know, now that we could, I know um, one person emailed me and they were very disappointed in layers and I don't blame them because the layers as it was first released, you didn't have the ability to use your own image. You only could use their light leaks and things like that. And it really wasn't true layers functionality. Now, admittedly, it's not full layers yet, but at least they're working towards that uh, goal of getting full layers capability. And this um, ability to use your own images and be able to use a PNG image with transparency is a big step towards that end. And um, now you could like do composites like this. Um, so that is really what's new. They, of course, I have, um, they've, uh, you know, fix some bugs. And I think I don't have a, obviously have a Windows computer. Um, they've added um, uh, the functionality where you could add folders and files using add photos on Windows. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that is, but that is something that has been added as well. So, um, you know, again, it's not like I mentioned, it's not like a groundbreaking. There's all this new functionality. It's very incremental. Um, I'm happy they did it. I'm happy they're all, you know, well, their families are well, and they're still working. They're able to work. Um, from what I understand, there are some employees that can't work uh, for whatever reason. Maybe they're in the Army. Uh, maybe they're serving the military for whatever reason. Uh, Skylim is paying them, uh, so that's good. Um, so hopefully, uh, you know, this comes to a peaceful ending uh so that everyone um could go on and live a good life uh that's that um in the description below this video remember i have that uh link to that web page that has the legitimate charities uh if you're interested in donating uh to ukraine um i also have links to you know their website itself uh for luminar neo uh, from what I understand, my discount code is now working. I'll have that listed in the description below this video as well. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.